Today we will discuss about some PhD tools, apps or softwares, whatever the name may be. So if you want to do PhD research efficiently, faster and quicker, you need to use at least one or two tools to make it successful and do way faster than other colleagues. So today I'm going to share with you some of the important tools for this generation to just have it done with your research. And these tools are very use useful. Now for to say, if you want to dig a mud, can you do it with hand? No, you need a tool and here we have spade. Now this spade is used to dig a mud, we all know it very well, without which we can't do bare hands. That takes a lot of effort and a lot of days to, to do. And we have here one more tool. This is like to make spice powder, pepper powder, or any such powder if you want to make. You just do it this way. So you need this tool for that. So for any small amount of work nowadays, we are using tools. And PhD is a such a vast, highest qualification where you need to use some tools. I see research scholars, PhD students, they are really unaware what are all the tools available online. Even if they are aware of the tools, they are not showing interest to use them properly. So today I'm going to put before you some tools like for, so to say uh, I have uh, managed these tools into five categories some three tools for one each category and these are very important and very famous tools for reference bibliography and citations to save them properly without cutting and pasting again putting in another folder and again you know, doing all that in a different way wasting of time we have three tools available they are <coughs> Zotero Mendeley and Quicker. Now here I can show you I have written this for you like you have a grasp here so you can see yeah now you, it is clear you can check here for one each category I have mentioned almost uh, three important tools where we can really get to it so if we use these tools uh, you can really make things faster like to say so for referencing you can use like Zotero, Mendeley and Quicker. Now these three tools are very famous uh, to save bibliography and uh, as such any type of uh, citation and these tools can really help you while writing PhD thesis because you need to have quality references you cannot lose them anywhere putting in some other folder in the laptop and dumping somewhere where you forget later they are not available at all but these tools will make that available anytime you want just within a second span of time and second category note making of course we not make in ms word but still there are particular apps where you can work smartly with note making like notability and notability notability this particular app is useful for tablets and we have evernote we all know this and we have zot file zot file zot file so you can use these three apps for note making and we have for uh, storage and backing up the data to store and back up as we all know Google Drive is the mostly used one but otherwise you have Dropbox the speciality of this Dropbox is it can really synchronize with anything on your computer so which means it, it can synchronize with your email or any other folders 
in any way possible and we have iCloud this is also a good tool for storing up and backing up <clears throat> the fourth category is for technical students project management tools likes to say so Trello uh, slack and blitter journal so these three apps you can use <clears throat> and last but not very least academic writing literary writing academic writing literature it is Scrivener, S-C-R-I-V-N-E-R, -E and Grammarly. You can use these two tools for academic writing, and they will do <clears throat> every writing to be perfect. So if you can use all these tools, three to tools for these five categories, and we have for thesis writing or research paper writing, we have Latex software that we all know it, you need to take some training. So with all these tools, why PhD scholars, candidate are not able to use up these tools? There is one reason, they are not ready to do that three days or four days hard work. I know three days or four days of hard work because uh, it, just, it just matters for them because take it easy. Nobody is going to push you, nobody is going to motivate you to do this. You have to motivate yourself. You have to do yourself. This is the main problem. So with this weakness, we are really not able to use up. So start today. Do smartly your PhD course. You can finish in three years. If you do it fast with these tools, right? It, I know it is difficult in the beginning, but later on, you get accustomed after one week of usage of this. Thank you a lot.